The Station Mouse by Meg McLaren Maurice had been told to stay out of sight. Rule 1. A station mouse must remain unseen. That was the first rule in the station mouse handbook and Maurice liked following the rules. At night, when the station was empty, it was Maurice's job to collect all the things left behind that day, though sometimes he needed a little help. Then he slept late into the morning because of Rule number two, a station mouse must never go out in the daytime. That's when the station is at its busiest. Passengers, you see, are always rushing and trains must be caught. The life of a station mouse can be a solitary one, so Maurice liked to keep himself busy. In quieter moments, he wondered why no one came back for their lost things. Perhaps the passengers did not want them after all. But what if he was wrong? What if each lost item was missed and Maurice could do nothing to help? Because the most important rule, the one he must never break, was rule number three. A station mouse must never approach the passengers. Not ever. Now, there's a reason why these rules exist. Ah, mouse! Passengers do not like mice. Quick, catch it! A mouse? Disgusting! It's getting away! Maurice would only be safe if he stayed out of sight. Where'd it go? Can you see it? Mice and passengers don't mix. That was what the handbook had taught him. But for the very first time, Maurice knew where a lost thing belonged and that it was wanted after all. Which way did it go? That's when he discovered that something is only lost until it is found. Returning it was the right thing to do. Maurice felt better than he ever had before. Oh, there it is, after it! But not for long. Maurice decided he was going to mind his own business from then on. Did you see where that mouse went? What mouse? The mouse, he was just here, here. We've got to find him. The rules were there to protect him. Which brings us to the fourth rule. Rule four, if the bell rings, pull the alarm and return to your duties. A station mouse must never, ever answer the bell. Hello? Excuse me, I think you dropped your hat. Maurice began to wonder if it was time for a new rule. Because some passengers did like mice and the rest, well, they just hadn't got to know him yet. But that was going to change. <laughs>